what she was going through, she concentrated on and made big the Lord, made great God. She didn't focus on her worldly problems, but on God's wonder she had to pay. She didn't complain. The word magnify or glorify in the Greek means to magnify something means to make it greater, to show it larger, to de declare it big. That's what magnify means. So that uh, the magnifying glass makes things look bigger. It makes things look bigger. You know? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you don't want things to look that big. Oh my mercy. Um, that's what a magnifying glass does. And that's what a magnifying anything does. Making it seem bigger, larger, closer, better. So when Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord. She meant that her soul expanded upon the Lord, made the Lord God the biggest thing in her life, the greatest thing. seem reverent, seem devout, even from an early age, interested in things of God, interested in religion. There's some young people in our church like that. I won't embarrass them by mentioning their names. You probably know who they are. There's some in this church who, from an early age, just are very interested in God. One little girl, her, her family isn't very religious at all. In fact, they call her their little holy roller. <laughs> because they're always, she's always asking about godly things. She's always terribly interested in God and the faith in the church. And so <coughs> even though she may not, everyone in her family may not be particularly religious, there are some children they're godly, and I, I think Mary was like that. That's why God chose her to be the mother of the Son of God. She was already reverent. And when she heard of what God had called her to be, it wasn't hard for her to even further magnify the Lord. And that's what we're to do as Christians. The more the Holy Spirit is within us, the more we can magnify Lord in our lives. Why should we magnify the Lord? Does God need to be magnified? He, he doesn't need to be made great. He's already great. He created everything. But to be magnified in our souls, like Mary's, in, in our lives to the world means that when elsewhere in the world Many people, and sometimes us, God is overwhelmed by the world. God is hidden by the world's cruelty and materialism and sinfulness and shallowness and meanness. What we see.
see on the news every day, what I hear sometimes many times a day, heartbreaking examples of this fallen world, the hurt, the betrayal, the disappointment that we see all around us. God gets overwhelmed by that. It's hidden.